Back in 2017, Jeffrey Moose's Le Chiquita Bag started to gain a lot of attention after their spring-summer 2018 runway show. The runway show was called Lo Bamba and that runway show showcased their very popular bag. When the Chiquita Bag initially came out, it was only available in one mini size, whereas today it's available in a range of sizes. I think we can all agree that this brand is very popular and almost in a way, it feels like it came out of nowhere, but actually this brand was founded in the year 2009 when its founder Simon was only 19 years old. He founded the brand and named it after his late mother and in all of his interviews he always talks about his mom and always says that his mom was actually the muse for his brand and forever will be. Back to the bag, the Chiquita bag gained a lot of popularity and had become a hot topic in like 2019 I remember and that was because of its size. It was so tiny and we saw people like Kim Kardashian wear it and obviously that made the brand bag even more popular. There was a lot of like mixed feelings towards the bag when it initially came out but I've been a lover since day one and then after the Chiquita bag success a few years later, Jacquemus launched their Lo Bambina bag which is another successful bag. In this video today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my Chiquita bag which is the mini bag over here. It's in the mini size. Also my Lo Bambina bag. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it feels so weird to film right now. I did let you guys know on my Instagram that I would be taking two weeks off of YouTube and now I am back and like it feels so weird being back into it. Like I missed it so much. I'm just trying to like remind myself how to actually film a video properly. I mean, I hope I'm able to like film today's video in one go and not mess up at all. Also you guys, we are so 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 close to 1,000 subscribers. If you aren't subscribed already, I would love for you to click the subscribe button down below. It's 100% free and also make sure to give me a thumbs up and now we can go straight into the bag. We're gonna start with the Chiquita bag. So this is a bag that really made Jacquemus was a very popular brand. It's definitely a very trendy bag. The actual silhouette and the style. It's your fun bag. It's a bold bag. It's allowed. Even if you own it in a neutral color like black or white, I still think it's not really a toned down bag. It's definitely more of a loud and fun piece because of its silhouette. It's really exact exaggerated handle. I really like that about this bag. I really think it's exaggerated handle makes it so unique. Currently, we're in 2022 and I bought this bag in 2019. When I bought it at that time, it was starting to get really popular and I was still in Marangoni, which is a fashion school here in London and I just loved the brand and everything it stood for and even to this day what it stands for. Because I like discovered it at uni, like it just always had like a soft spot in my heart and it was just so nice to see it, you know, become super popular because I just love the designer so much and I really feel like everything that the brand has achieved so far is like so well deserved. This is their mini Chiquita bag and it retails for £380. This bag you can get for 10% off off of Farfetch if you are a student. So this bag has a grained leather and the bag comes in a few different materials. It comes in suede, it comes in a more smooth leather and mine is grained and honestly I cannot recommend the grain one enough because obviously when you have grained leather it's more durable like it doesn't scratch and you know it just keeps its shape the color doesn't really change over time I feel like if you have a suede bag like just because of the nature of the material it's just gonna fade over time and just even end up looking dirty so if you do go for the grain leather I feel like that's like the safest option when it comes to durability because you know it's just gonna last for a really long time I bought the orange color honestly like I just love orange bags like I just have this like weird obsession with orange like this is my first ever orange bag and after I bought this bag like I just realized that I really love orange bags and then I ended up buying two other bags not from Jacquemus but from other brands but yeah I mean let me know if any of you guys love orange like me like especially in handbags like I don't know it's just so 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 nice like I just feel like orange handbags look so fresh I will say though that recently I haven't been reaching for this bag I mean I still love it as much I I still think it's an iconic piece and I don't think I'll ever sell or get rid of this bag but I just have not been reaching for it as much and I feel like I'm kind of in a way over its shape like I don't want to wear it every day but I still love owning this bag I haven't worn it and reached for it in a long time but I do feel like it's a bag that I will always love and, and eventually I'll want to reach for it like I do think that when I go on holidays like I will want to reach for it but so far like in the winter time I 
haven't and when I bought this bag I was wearing it so much like I just enjoyed wearing it casually and even dressed up but now not so much this bag also comes with a strap and you can wear it crossbody if you wanted to and I like wearing it crossbody when I'm being more casual but when I'm going out and when I'm wearing like a dress I'll be more dressy and wear a top handle I just feel like top handle looks so it just looks so fun and so chic and in terms of what it fits I mean you guys can see there's not much room over here we just have one massive pocket inside and we don't have any like side pockets either it's just you know like a square what I can manage to fit in this are my airpods and like one lipstick and maybe like you know an ID card or like your bank card but you can't fit your wallet you cannot fit your wallet not even your card holder but I mean the thing about this bag is that like it will fit your keys and some of your essentials but like it's not your everyday bag like, I don't think it's practical for this to be your everyday bag unless you're the girl who only needs her airpods keys and a lip gloss if that's you and that's you but I feel like I would definitely need a bit more room just because but I do think it's a great bag to have if you want to have you know a bag in your wardrobe that's a fun piece that adds personality to plain look I think Jacquemus is, is a great brand to buy from if you want to have more fun pieces in your collection and you don't want to break the bank buying a fun piece because I mean if you were to buy a fun designer bag from another brand I feel like it would be way more expensive but with Jacquemus like their handbags aren't as expensive as other designers so that's a plus point and also like I said earlier on you can get this bag 10% off off of Farfetch also if you guys were wondering this is what their dust bag looks like so this is what the Chiquita bag comes in and this is my dust bag for my Bambina bag which we're going to talk about right now this is my Bambino bag this is the small Bambino bag so it comes in a few sizes this is a size small and this one here retails for 420 pounds the same thing with this bag as well you can also get it for 10% off of Farfetch I feel like this bag has a more classy silhouette to this bag over here like this one's more you know exaggerated and just more dramatic whereas this one has more of a muted type of silhouette I mean it's not too loud but it's unique but it's not like it's not like this bag if you know what I mean I feel like this bag adds character and elegance to the simplest look like it just has a very unique shape I have it in the pink color but I feel like if you bought this bag in a black it would just look so classy because of its silhouette like it's just so elegant like it has a very unique elegance to it my bambino bag is in a more smooth leather so my chiquita bag has a grained leather but this one here is more smooth if you know you know when a bag's leather is smooth like it's gonna scratch I do have scratches on my bag multiple places it's not super prominent like you guys cannot see it but I can see it like you know up close it just scratches really easily and that's the only thing that puts me off this bag and I mean it's not prominent but I can see that it's there and I feel like in natural lighting you can see it clearer the bag's shape is as such it's more rectangular compared to the Chiquito in the back you have like a really tight pocket like you can I really fit a lot here and I'm honestly scared to use it because I feel like anything I put might scratch the bag because it's going to take a lot of force you know what I mean so I don't really use that pocket a lot from the front it just has a magnetic clasp over here and when you open it up it's just a rectangle at the bottom this bag does not fit my phone because my phone is the 11 Pro Max I feel like if you have the phone that's not the plus size if you have a regular phone that's not plus size I feel like it would definitely fit in here but mine doesn't it's definitely more roomy than this bag here like this is definitely a roomier bag you guys can see it also comes with a long strap which i tend to not wear i tend to just wear this bag top handle i just think top handle looks way better jacquemus came out with this style in the year 2020 i believe so a few years after the chiquita bag and i ended up buying this bag right in the beginning of 2021 it was january 2021 and i feel like i've definitely worn this bag more than my chiquito bag purely because this one's slightly more practical because you can fit more but 
I feel like I don't reach for it as much now and that's because I'm just scared of scratching it even more like I actually love how this bag looks like I love the color and I think it's an amazing summer bag I just like all my pan bags to look brand new and you know just like unscathed but just the fact that it has like a few scratches it doesn't make me want to reach for the bag anymore I mean I still love the bag but just because it has a few scratches over here and there I mean I really wish that they had this color and grained leather because I do believe that the bambino bag does come in grained leathers I mean I'll double check and have it somewhere on the screen for you guys but if you are planning on buying a bag from Jack and Moose just know that if you have a bag that has grained leather it's gonna like last longer and like not look worn out and if you have a bag that has smooth leather it's gonna look more worn out I mean right now you can't tell I mean it looks good from afar but up close like you can definitely see like you know scratches here and there and I feel like if you're someone that has like you know acrylic nails or like long nails like you might like scratch it even more just because you know you got nails and stuff so those were my honest thoughts about the two Jacquemus bags the brand has come out with multiple new styles they recently released this new bag style that looks so cool and edgy it has like this chain around it as well i'll have it somewhere on screen let me know what you guys think of that bag i think jacques mousse is the perfect brand to experiment with when you want to have a more fun piece in your back collection and even if you want to start your designer handbag collection i feel like a nice brand to buy from especially their bambino bag if you buy this in a more neutral color i feel like that's a great designer bag to start with because you know it's classy and it'll last too long just because you know the silhouette's more classy and elegant only thing i'll say is just be aware of what material you end up getting because some materials do scratch easily i want to know what you guys think about this bag and i want to know if you guys own any and in what color let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye